Hey there, my name is Ron Pereira, and uh, what we're going to do in this video is um, I'm going to kind of redo a, uh, a simulation that I first did back in around 2008. And uh, this first simulation was actually the first video that I ever made in my life. I was actually sitting at my kitchen table, it was about 1 a.m., and I had some Home Depot lights strapped to a stepladder. That was my lighting and, uh, and maybe some kitchen cabinets. I nearly burnt my house down, I think, <laughs> that night. Anyhow, I somehow got that video uh, put together and uh, uploaded it back then to Google Video, if anybody remembers that. And uh, anyhow, I embedded it on my blog back then, which was LSS Academy. And, and uh, the comments kind of just blew up and people just went crazy. Um, some people were like almost attacking me. They were angry. They were thinking I was playing some kind of a trick or something like that, but there was no tricks. It was just one piece flow versus batch production. And so um, obviously we, we got a little bit better at making videos, so we're not at my in my kitchen. And so I wanna redo that simulation here. And uh, the first thing I would encourage everyone to do is uh, to watch this video, but then go ahead and try this yourselves. And I'm doing it by myself, but you can actually do this simulation easily with uh, say three people. One person could be uh, uh, the folding station, the folding of the paper. The next person could be the stuffing of the envelopes. And then perhaps the third person could seal and stamp the envelopes. Um, so there's many different ways of doing this. But uh, since I'm by myself, um, I'm going to do it on my own. So I've got 10 pieces of paper. This is just standard paper from our, our printer. And I've got 10 envelopes. And, uh, and I've got my Gimba Academy stamper. I'm not actually going to stamp it because Leslie would bark in our office would yell at me if I wasted these envelopes. So, <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is get my little stopwatch and my iPhone dialed in. I think maybe Greg will put a little timer at the bottom of the video here or something, but uh, let's see how this goes. So round one is mass production. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so first thing is I'm gonna start folding. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my very best so nobody thinks I'm playing any games to uh, to work at the same pace, no matter if I'm doing mass production or one piece flow. Now, this simulation was first, uh, I, I learned about this in the book Lean Thinking. Uh, Dr. James Womack uh, first wrote about how he asked his daughters uh, what they thought the best way would be to go about stuffing envelopes for some marketing material he wanted to send out. And they, they kind of naturally uh, move towards uh, this kind of a batch production mindset. And I think if anyone's ever been married and had to do the wedding invitations, chances are really good that you did what I'm doing now. Is some, you know, someone folded and then someone did all the stuffing and then someone did all the stamping and so forth. So it's, I don't know, for whatever reason, mass production is very comfortable to us and and we're drawn to it for some reason. When people talk about the early farmers, how they used to have to kind of store up wheat and grain for the long winter and batching was kind of uh, ingrained in our, in our thought process. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but uh, anyhow, as you can see, I've got lots of inventory, waste of inventory kind of piling up here in front of me. Right. So all 10 pieces are folded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff all 10 envelopes. Okay. Now here's the crazy thing. What happens if I had made a kind of a folding mistake on all of the all of the pieces of paper and I didn't discover it until after the stuffing Step. Well, I would have a bunch of defects uh, on my hand. And so that's another kind of drawback or negative to uh, mass production. It kind of hides quality problems, or it can hide quality problems. Okay, almost done. Now after this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to seal all of the envelopes. I guess I probably should be looking then, but it'd be kind of weird, kind of gross. Nobody wants to see me looking a bunch of envelopes. 
I'm hoping Greg, our videographer back here, comes up with some cool music or something. Kind of boring to stand here watching me fold envelopes, but. Okay. All right, so they're all sealed. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta stamp them all. So I'm just gonna kind of simulate this stamping process. And double check that I got the right orientation, otherwise, put the stamp on the wrong side, which I guess doesn't really matter, but. All right, 3.42 is our, our magic time here. So uh, go ahead and write that down. We'll put it up on the screen here. But 3.42 is the, uh, is the mass production time to beat. So let's see what happens. So I'll just kind of move this off to the side and let's get set up for the one piece flow. So everything is gonna be the same. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pick up a piece of paper, I'm gonna fold it, I'm going to stuff it, I'm going to seal it, turn it over, stamp it, and that piece is going to be done. I'm going to move through all 10 pieces that same way, okay? So, um, let's see, let's go. All right. Folding the first piece, pick up the envelope, stuffed it, seal it, stamp it. First piece done in about 17 seconds or so. Hold. Okay. Now, there are, as we've mentioned in several Gimba Academy videos, um, prerequisites to One Piece Flow. You've got to have a stable process. If you are producing tons of defects, one piece flow is gonna be very challenging. I mean, it'll be, one, the good thing is, you will immediately identify those issues and kind of be forced to, uh, to deal with them. So that can be a good thing, but uh, it can be uncomfortable and painful if you don't have stable processes. Okay. I don't know, I was telling Greg we'll put some music. I was thinking like Motley Crue would be kind of cool. Whoop, gotta pay attention, seal it. For the music for this video, kind of, I don't know, Greg probably won't let me do that, but. <laughs> Wish I knew some jokes. There's really no mean jokes. Actually, I know one joke. I'm gonna tell a joke while I'm doing One Piece Flow just to prove how, how awesome it is. So, a horse, he walks into the bar, the bartender looks at the horse and says, why the long face? Get it? The long face? Oh gosh, I'm like laughing myself. Greg's laughing in the back. At least there's one other person. My first did this, it was just me in my kitchen. I was praying my kids didn't wake up. Almost done. Last one. All right, 256. So we went from, what was it, Greg? We had uh, 342. 342 to 256. So it's quite an improvement. And uh, what, I, what I would really encourage you to do with your teams is to watch this together and then do it, do the simulation yourself. Do it by yourself, do it with a team of three people, something like that. And then brainstorm why you think the uh, One Piece Flow uh, was faster, and it always will be faster. And I'll give you a little hint. 
Uh, when, you, when you look at the one piece flow uh, methodology, that first piece of paper that I'm folding, well, I never set it down. Whereas in a batch production, I folded that first piece of paper, sat it down, then it, and it sat in this big pile. And then eventually I picked that paper up again and then I stuffed it and I sat it back down. Eventually, I came back around to it. I picked that piece of, a, a piece of paper up again in the envelope. This time I sealed it and then I sat it down. And then finally, after the other ones were done, I picked that piece, uh, paper up again in the envelope and stamped it. And so what, what we're doing is just all this touching of that same piece of paper. And so that's just one of the, the many reasons why this one is faster. But I would encourage you to go with your teams, do the simulation, and then really brainstorm and see if you can figure out why it's faster, what the efficiencies are, and then how does that apply to your work? That's the most important thing because, you know, some people may stuff envelopes for a living, but uh, most of us don't. And so how do you take this principle of one piece flow and apply it to your work? We have ways here at Gimbe Academy, the way we produce videos, we try to work in kind of one piece flow mentality. So no matter what kind of work you do, this, uh, this methodology can help you. Um, you might have to bend and twist to, to make it work depending on the kind of work you do. But uh, one piece flow is always going to be superior. Again, you've got to have stable processes. It's not necessarily easy. You don't want to make it sound like it's easy. But when you get it down, um, your life will never be the same and uh, your efficiency is going to go through the roof. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll talk to you soon.